In recent years, honeybees and pollinator health have dominated headlines and news stories around the world, and with good reason. Some of our favorite foods, such as coffee, strawberries, and chocolate, would be in short supply if it weren't for bees and other pollinators. However, bees are struggling to find adequate, diverse food sources due to habitat loss. Additionally, diseases, harsh weather, and deadly varroa mite are all factors contributing to the health challenges these incredible insects face. Well, one of the things that I was fortunate enough to see was a few years of without varroa mite. Since about 95, I have repeatedly stated that we, we have to do twice the work for half the efforts. With a world population expected to grow to more than 9 billion people, 70% more food will be needed by the year 2050. This means we all have a role to play in hive health so they can continue to help produce fruits, nuts, and vegetables people need for a healthy diet. Healthy hives and the health of pollinators is one of the most important things that we aspire for in agriculture. Agriculture needs healthy pollinators and, and pollinators need agriculture. Improving bee health is not just a goal we're all working toward, it's a necessity. That's why Bear Crop Science launched a major new initiative, Healthy Hives 2020, which aims to improve health of honeybee colonies through research and collaboration with bee advocates from all sectors. Who we have here is a, an eclectic group of different views. We have uh, academicians, we have industry, we have people like NASDA is here representing uh, uh, the State Departments of Agriculture. And I think those voices are very critical as we try to find solutions to enhance pollinator health. Brilliant minds covering various aspects of bee health came together for a two-day workshop at the Bear North American Bee Care Center to define some of the most important questions in bee health today and to determine priorities to help find solutions over the next five years. My real goal, uh, my real desire to see come out of this meeting is to identify that component, of uh, that measurable metric, that, that metric that we can say this will be used to show that we have improved colony health within the United States. Over the coming months, the Healthy Hives 2020 Steering Committee will help facilitate research to answer some of these important questions and to accomplish what everyone who loves bees wants to see, healthy hives and thriving colonies in North America by the year 2020. Yeah, I, I believe that there is a cause for optimism in, in honeybee research. For more information on Healthy Hives 2020 initiative and other Bear Bee Care programs, visit www.behealth.bear.us.